Alrighty, so uh, this is a Photoshop um, Photo Bash demo I'm going to be doing for you guys. Uh, I have my good friend Masha here is posing for me, and I'm going to take her photograph and turn her into an alien creature. So the first thing I did is duplicated the layer, uh, turned it black and white, and then I pushed the contrast and also the sharpness so I can just get as much detail uh, as I possibly can because again I want to turn her into an alien of some kind so I took the smart sharpen and kind of pushed it uh, to make it very very contrasty so um, if you guys aren't totally familiar with Photoshop um, I can kind of take you through this but basically the idea is uh, define an image that's a three-quarter view and um, we're going to uh, use this three-quarter view to see what we can do to turn her or turn our characters into something uh, very unusual. So the first thing I did was cut out the eyes and then move them to the side. Okay, just to try to make them uh, a little bit more alien-like. And then I'm using the liquify tool. And you can use any tool, but I like liquify just to really start pushing and twisting uh, the face around into something a bit more um, alien-like. Okay, once I had that done, I took my draw tool and uh, blackened in the background. And if you notice, I actually blackened in uh, the background in a separate layer. Just in case I change my mind, I'm not going to be painting over my original. So I didn't really know exactly what I was going to do. So, you know, I just kind of make it up as I go along. I'm like, all right, well, let's get rid of the clothing. Maybe try to uh, go into um, liquify again and give her a little bit of a body shape using the liquify tool. Then once I have that, click OK. And now I'm going to try to use some photo bash elements. So I looked up frogs. Okay, and I tried to find a pretty good size image of frogs. So I looked up frogs large and found this really cool image of a frog. Now I kind of like her eyes as they are right now, but just for this demo, let's see what happens if we give her frog eyes. So I Move the frog image into position and then desaturated it, took the color out. Then I used color balance and kind of brought some of that red back. So that was the idea for that. And I'm looking at these eyes kind of transparently so you can see through them a little bit. Okay, so now I have the two separate eyes. And I can start moving them around into position to create this alien character. Playing around brightness and contrast a little bit. And still moving them around into position. Now as you work this, it doesn't have to be uh, perfect because you can keep playing and playing around with Photoshop and kind of seeing what happens from just this kind of uh, fiddling. And you can always fix anything that you do. So I duplicated the ear the strange ear that I gave her. I made the second ear a lot smaller just to try to push the perspective a little bit, give it that illusion of uh, one ear being closer to us and the other ear further away. So this is about a one hour demo that I squeezed down to 12 minutes just so I can talk to you about the general overall idea of photo bashing. Uh, I'll probably eventually do a full one hour demo and I'll have that online available for you guys. So then I went into Smart Sharpen again, okay, and really tried to bring out those details. Not very flattering, but it's great for aliens. So then I uh, adjusted the color balance, gave it, gave it a little bit more green, and then started playing around with the um, brightness and contrast again. And I thought, well, maybe a spacesuit might be interesting. So I looked up large images of, a, of space uh, suits from NASA and uh, 
uh, lasso the background, click delete. Now I've got uh, a space outfit that I can possibly use. And I'm going to put it on her. Flip it around. Stretch it out. Now the larger the suit, the smaller her head's going to look. So I'm kind of debating on how big I want the um, space suit to be. There you go. So I'm kind of making it a little bit larger. If it was uh, smaller, she would look like a very, very small alien with a large head, but I wanted to kind of not do that. So now I'm just erasing uh, some of the parts that I decided I'm not going to use. Brightness and contrast. If I darken it a little bit, it's easier to tint. So I darkened it and then I'm tinting. Again, I will be uh, walking around the room and helping you guys uh, when you get to these stages. So don't worry about having to memorize all this stuff on the fly. But again, just the basic idea of um, a collage, you know. This could be done with real photos and collage and glue and scissors <clears throat> the same way. What's great about Photoshop, though, is you can resize the images. You can blend. But same idea. We're just doing a collage. So I've uh, tinted her uh, suit orange so it kind of looks like I don't know mission to Mars type of a situation and then I went back to um, smart sharpen again and I'm sharpening I sharpened up the uh, spacesuit and saving as I go of course and then I have rust I have a photograph of rust but if you just look up rust online it'll give you the same photograph I'm using it's a very popular um, uh, rust texture. I'm dragging it over her entire figure and I have it on soft light. And soft light um, is like a, uh, almost like a transparent um, screen that's over everything, kind of pulls everything together, I think. So I wanted it to kind of feel a little bit grungy and even though her face looked grungy, the spaceship look or the spacesuit looked way too clean. All right, so now I'm kind of moving the grunge around a little bit so I can get just the right marks on her face. And then the next step would be to um, play around with something called paint daubs. And what paint daubs does is it makes your photograph look a little bit like a painting. If you blur the paint daubs out a little bit and you fiddle around with the, uh, the settings in paint daubs, um, you can see, especially the bottom part of the space outfit, looks a little bit like a painting. If I were to add texture to this afterwards, like a, a canvas texture, it would look like almost like oil paint on canvas. Okay, so here's the whole screen. I kind of like the fact that the black is cutting the halfway through the image. So I ended up keeping that and keeping the bottom part light. It was just a happy accident. And then I decided to try to give her a space dome. Okay, so I looked up transparent domes, and I copied and pasted that into my um, original scene. Again, I can help you guys out with this type of stuff. But anyway, as I worked it, I realized that it's just not working. The, the dome wasn't round enough, and I just kept erasing until nothing was left. So I moved on to plan B, which is to... Uh, create a circular mat. So I cut a hole in one of my shots and then went back to the previous shot and I could paint underneath and it should stop right where the hole is. So I do it properly here. There we go. So now I'm painting underneath the image and you're kind of seeing through the hole, so to speak, of the second version of the image. Again, you don't have to know this unless you're trying to make a dome, which <clears throat> most of you probably won't be doing. But anyway, um, so down and dirty way of making a space dome. 
<clears throat> then I started playing around with brightness and contrast and color so that it kind of works with the rest of the image. So we're kind of nearing the end now, and I kind of like it. It starts to look like a painted drawing, to me anyway. It doesn't quite look like a photograph. It looks like a, an exaggerated caricature that was, uh, that was painted, which is my original idea. So I turned the NASA logo back around properly so we can read it. And uh, then I cropped it a little bit. Although I kind of like it also uncropped, but it's all good. And then, of course, I can't stop myself. So I just keep noodling around with the entire image flattened. I'll go to color balance, go to hue saturation, desaturate, take that black image, um, paste it on top of the original image. It's just kind of going back and forth, kind of, at this point, it's kind of, it's fun, but it's also, you know, it can be a little uh, obsessive when you just keep going at it and going at it. But I like the idea of being able to have the whole image as one now, and just seeing all the different things that you can play with. You know, I was thinking, well, what if she had a red outfit? you know, and kind of a green face. So you can kind of play around. You can make it really saturated or you can make it desaturated. As long as it's all one layer, uh, you can have a lot of fun just playing, you know. So at this stage, it's just basic composition. I kind of widened the, um, the canvas a little bit so that uh, I could have a little bit more space so she's not so cramped in there. So I added more black. I'm just going to chop this out. Basically, there's there's ten ways of doing it, but I'm just kind of extending on the uh, on the canvas, adding more black and more white on the sides. So basically, that is it. That's my character. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's about an hour, hour ten minutes that took me to do the whole thing. Squeeze it down to twelve for you guys. So hopefully, you'll have a lot of fun. I think this is a it's a really fun um, exercise. For coming up with images that look like a painting. Okay? Awesome.